What is up guys, Chintan here once again and this time I have an answer to a question that no one has ever asked but every gamer probably wants to know. When will we finally have game graphics that are virtually indifferentiable from reality? Well, I think the time is here. Have you asked? Well, let's find out. So, what you saw was the comparison of Cristiano Ronaldo's face from FIFA 18 versus his face that was constructed by a generative machine learning model. Now, this can be achieved by a new deep learning algorithm that is going by the name of deep fakes and has been quite popular on the internet recently for all kinds of reasons. As you can see here with the example of Nicolas Cage, this algorithm is capable of putting one person's face on top of another with amazing level of reality. So, let's use this algorithm to put faces of actual players instead of the made up graphics in FIFA. Let's try this on Ronaldo. First, we need to collect a lot of images of his face from FIFA and then his actual face from Google. Now, we train first network to encode Ronaldo's FIFA face into a compact representation and then decode this representation to reconstruct the face back. This encoding enforces the network to actually learn the distribution that generates the face, rather than simply returning back the input image. Then, we repeat this process with another network using the same encoder from previous network, but a different decoder that tries to learn Ronaldo's actual face from the Google images. Now, here comes the fun part. After we have trained both the models, we can input Ronaldo's face from FIFA to the second model and it will output the actual face of Ronaldo while maintaining the same facial expressions and lighting effects. After only 4 hours of training, the model has learned how to draw Ronaldo's face in any position and angle. There are more results on some of the other players that I trained the model on. Again, I think the difference is huge, but maybe I am biased, so you be the judge. I am really positive from the initial impressions of this approach to generating computer graphics. The only thing holding it back is the real-time performance of the deep neural network, however, I think it will be addressed within the next year or two. So I would expect the games by 2020 to have this technology of generating graphics, which I think is a big, big improvement. Alright, that's all for this video guys. Thank you for watching. Please leave a thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And I'll see you in the next one.